Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with the second video in the series The Rook Rules. Every Wednesday I will show you a position or a game where the rook plays an important role. In this video I will show you the game between two Russian players, Konovaltsev with white and Aryanov with black. It was played in Alma Ata, that's in Kazakhstan. And it was played in 1964 in the Soviet Union. I don't have the ratings of the players, but it was 1964 in the Soviet Union, so both players must have been quite strong. I know the story of a grandmaster. Every time he went to Russia, he was worried that every taxi driver would be able to beat him. That's how strong the Russian chess school was. Let's have a look at this game. Konovaltsev opened with d4 and his opponent Aryanov Answer d5, c4, c6, the Slav defense, knight f3, knight f6, e3, and now many moves are possible. For example, a6, or e6, or g6, and also bishop f5 is playable. And that was played by Arianov. Queen b3, looking at that pawn on b7, queen b6 to deal with that problem, and c takes d5. Black decided to swap the queens. And here c takes d5. Taking back on d5 is the correct move. And then we get, for example, knight c3. And we have a game that is more or less equal. But after a takes b3, Black did not take back on d5. He decided to take on b1. And that is a mistake. Because white does not recapture. White takes on c6. And now you really have to take back on c6. And then rook takes b1 and white is better with the two bishops and an extra pawn. But in this game, after d takes e6, black thought he would be able to keep his extra piece. He played his bishop back to e4. Nice move. If white takes on b7, the bishop will take back and black has an extra piece and is winning. But here comes the move that black had missed. Rook takes a7. Thunder strikes and the rook rules. What a rook move. It's over straight away. You really have to take the rook because your own rook on a8 is hanging. So rook takes a7 was played. And then Konovaltsev played c7. And that caused resignation by black on move 10. Because that pawn on c7 is just going to promote either on c8 or on b8 and there is no way that black can keep both promotion squares under control. An opening disaster for black and a very easy point for white and a wonderful rook move on move 9. Rook a1 takes a7. The rook rules. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, please subscribe to the Chess to Impress channel and please leave a comment. If you like the video, if you like this series of the pieces rule, then please share this video or share the playlist which is in the description box underneath this video by clicking the share button on YouTube. This is Rick for Chess to Impress. Thank you for watching.